All right, folks, I just want you to see our 2007 American Coach Tradition 40J. We stopped here, uh, kind of here in the uh, North Dallas area and, and thought we'd film it just real quick on the way back from one of our trips. There's the back of the coach. We've replaced all of the camera systems. She tows a Jeep Grand Cherokee on occasion. Generator's running right now. We just uh, thought we'd set it up to be comfortable. You'll see that the side marker lights are all LEDs, as are the headlights and the driving lights. They've all been changed out. The awnings are in super shape. Paint is really good. These traditions are built like no other. Tires recent. They are in 2020s, all the way around new. Batteries were all the way around new. 2020. We've never had a peep out of any of them. It runs like a charm. There's the Onan 7.5 quiet diesel generator. Reliable as they come. See up on top, kind of the condition. The roof is, top top of the roof is repainted with the fiberglass uh, cleaner and paint. That's a one-piece fiberglass roof, so you really don't have anything to worry about. No. Now, in a minute, we're going to let the lovely Miss Carol give you a look at uh, all of the uh, features and benefits here. Um, she's got 69,000 miles, priced at 108,000, in super shape. We might even meet you somewhere if you'd uh, like to have us bring it to you. All right, let's see Miss Carol next. Hi, everyone. Since we listed our 2007 American Tradition Coach, we've been getting a lot of inquiries about the features that we really enjoy about owning this coach and have enjoyed over the years. There's too many to list, so we thought we'd give you a brief tour around the coach and just let you know some of the features that we really like. So, the first, so our first little bay area here includes the filters, and Kent really likes this because it gives you easy access to change filters and just kind of see what's going on. Um, Gotta love this. Also, the, you've got both of the uh, you've got the uh, ignition batteries right up here. So there's two of those right here on this top tray. Yeah, really convenient. So the next bay over is a nice little storage unit. We keep it to have like our cleaning supplies, some little miscellaneous tools. Really handy area for storage. Lots of space in this. Doors open and close easily down to this one and this is our super start fleet heavy duty battery storage <laughs> house uh, batteries here <laughs> runs a coach everything it just never utters a peep by the way there's the kill switch on the top right up here if you want to take the house batteries offline yeah so fuses these are were actually brand new and we installed them when we bought the coach so i haven't had any issues with those our next area here which is really such a cool area it's a slide out, but it slides this side and the other side, and easy enough for me to actually pull out. I'm not that big, so <laughs> it's not too bad. We keep our tools in here, and really handy for all kinds of things. Toolbox, we've got a table in the back, we can put a grill in, just outdoor supplies, tents, things like that. But it's really handy because it slides in and out. Pull the switch and it'll go to the second setting. Shows you how head. much I use that. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite playground here. Our next little storage area here. We've got more extra space. Really, really nice storage. Put some hooks on the wall to hang our fishing gear. But just really lots of extra space. That's a huge pass through. It goes all the way to the other side. And we keep both of our electric bikes in here. Really nice features. Like I said, these are really hard to list on an ad, so we wanted to give you a walkthrough to let you know what we love about the storage in this coach. And there she is. Ta-da! It's a Sony TV and some storage cabinets back there, really useful. Yeah, I really like this area because behind the TV, there's some storage space so you can put your games or your, you know, whatever you're using for your TV night. Everything stores in the back of it. Very compact. It has a little mount back here. There we go. 
You want to make sure it's snapped in. All right. Another one of the features I really like, which you know a lot of people take for granted, but the outdoor lighting while you're running through the running lights mm -hmm. are really nice and bright and uh, just beautiful at night while you're running down the highway. Definite upgrade. So I think you got to walk through on the front of the coach. Mm -hmm. Really beautiful with the slides are out. That's your own and 7.5 running. So here we've got the dining area and the sitting area pulled out to extend. It will take you on the inside and let you know how that feels. It makes it really, really comfortable and really roomy. This is our bedroom slide out. And one of the things I know that was really important when we were looking for a coach is the side radiator. And Okay, so evidently we've got a lot of questions on the um, underneath of the coach, you know, what it looks like. So we wanted to kind of give you a tour of the other side of the coach. And this is, um, probably can't collaborate more on what this is, but it's really sharp to me. <laughs> <laughs> air conditioning is here. Some pieces of the air conditioning, the dryer is back there. You also have the air ride system and you have a, an auxiliary pump for blowing things up down there. So that's kind of handy. Yeah, really nice. So then you've got another storage bay area which this is actually the tank. Propane, 30 pounds. It's wonderful. So here we have this bag area, which again is nice storage. That's that huge pass-through we talked about. Yeah. Then we have another area, which is the slide out, as we mentioned earlier. Yep. And that slide out has all of the sewer hardware in it as well. So yeah. this is the part of the RV that I thought was super cool when we first bought it. It's kind of your own little cleaning station. I'll let Kent kind of elaborate on this. Yeah, we've, uh, you know, you've got a uh, black water tank flush system here. You've also got your hot water and cold water uh, low point drains. You've got your black water uh, gate valve there and your uh, gray water gate valve to go out through the bottom. There's a port there down towards the bottom that you can run your hose through. Um, and then here you have your freshwater filter and we have found that changing out that freshwater filter is a very good thing. Meantime, uh, over here, this is a quick disconnect faucet. You saw the hose laying in the other cabinet. But you can quickly plug that disconnect faucet on there, and now you have an outdoor washdown station. Our last opening is the this is your main electrical. Uh, electrical. Yep. Right? Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, we have that, uh, um, I don't know, it's maybe 30 to 50 feet uh, and 50 amp or it can be adapted to a 30 amp. Okay. And also, I know one of the features when we were first looking for a coach, which I knew nothing about, but what was really important was the side radiator. Indeed. Yeah, this thing is, is uh, the key to owning a quality coach. Don't make the mistake of buying a rear radiator. They get plugged up badly. And so here you have the side radiator. It's also hydraulic and it runs off commands from the engine control module. So you may be pulling up a hard hill with your RPMs very low, but the side radiator will take hydraulic fluid commands from the engine control module, and this fan will be running hard and fast even though the RPMs are running slow. So really great feature, really commercial bus setup. Okay, and that kind of gives the outdoor tour of this 2007 American Tradition coach. Um, we also have a Blue Ox set up here that we tow our Jeep with and never had an issue with it. We have a camera mounted at the top so you can keep an eye on it all the time <laughs> while it's following you down the road. And we uh, might mention we've replaced both of the side blinker cams and the monitor mm -hmm. in the coach and so we have great, great video. Yeah. Maybe a quick look just inside the engine so you know what you've got here. There it sits. That's a Cummins 400. Um, we mark everything as we update it. So this one had an oil change about, uh, well, let's see here, uh, in May 2023. Um, the canister filter was changed in 2020. The hydraulic fluid was changed in 2020. And those things don't have to be changed frequently. And the transmission fluid was changed in 2020. We haven't put that many miles on it, and so it's not due yet. Um, the belts are current. 
and uh, she runs fast. Okay, so now you see the outside of the coach. Now we're gonna see my most favorite part. So follow me, we'll take you to run the inside and what we love about this coach. Okay, so first of all, there's just a nice, spacious driving area. You've got two of the captain seats, of course, and this one actually lets out so that it's a lounger. You can put your feet up as you're driving. Lots of good storage area for the driver. I'll let Kent kind of explain the dashboard a little bit. It's really beautiful when it's lit up at night, but. Yeah, we have kind of a nostalgia dashboard on this 07 tradition. Really a lovely setup. Uh, when you have the dash on, you do get uh, kind of a, you know, a, a little more uh, color. And so uh, all of your key controls over here uh, lit up and then the major functions for your air tanks and for your oil pressure and engine temperature. So all good there. Um, it's got a nice surround sound system as well. We run a tire pressure monitoring system there. And so, uh, yeah, overall we, uh, we, we have it set up the way we like it. And one of the most brilliant things that Ken has done is upgraded the TV system so that it's an oversized console that is uh, stays in place that you know doesn't move when we're traveling but it gives us just an amazingly sharp picture and, and it's just brilliant do you want to elaborate on the yeah it's a 40 inch app? 4k samsung so it's also a smart tv so you can get samsung plus content yeah absolutely we love it it's just everywhere we go it's a fabulous picture compared to what we had before so it was a great upgrade i thought i'd mention these blinker cams have been replaced and so if I kick that blinker over, you'll get a look at how good those pictures are. Just take a look at that in the camera. And then here's on the left side. Really great video. Um, we're still using the standard Sony camera in the rear, but we did replace the monitor. And those Sony cams for the rear, they perform pretty well over time. And so um, the guys at RV Cams Inc. Uh, said, hey, just let that one work until you're not happy with it. All right. What else you got for us? So another thing that we're really proud of is we've replaced all of the window treatments. So now every window is covered with MCD shades and they're the day night. So you have the filter when it's daytime so the sun doesn't get real bright. It kind of filters the room. And at night these pull down and they're complete blackout. So we have a nice beautiful kind of uh, basket weave texture. So the coloring on it is just really, really nice. They're really functional. These are really great and from outside when you have the black tinted shades down, you don't see into the coach, you see a black, uh, you, the windows reflect black. Right. Now one of the other th options that I like is some of the coaches we've seen don't have the window where you can look out over the sink. This one actually has a little window and we've actually put an MCO shade there as well. So you can see out while you're doing your dishes or cooking. Um, our living area is huge, as you can tell. So we've had two other couples in here sitting comfortably. This actual it turns into a queen-size bed. So if you have guests staying over, they can use that. This one is actually also, you can make have someone sleep here. So yeah, that, the bed on the left is a jackknife and it's a full size, so you sleep two. Mm -hmm. This one over here is a queen, and so you sleep two. And then the master is a king and sleeps too. Right, okay. Oh, so yeah. the kitchen area is really, really nice. What I love about this is that you can take the table and it pulls completely out so that it will seat four comfortably. So you can put two more seats here and have four people seated for dinner, which is really nice. And this, uh, by the way, this floor was a tile upgrade. In 07, you still had a lot of carpet in coaches and this one was the full tile upgrade. So it's, it's tile out to here to all the way to the edge of the slide out and here up to the slide out. But normally it was a merger of some more carpet and tile. So this one was the full tile upgrade. Yeah, I love it. And it's easy to keep clean too, to sweep it, just have it looking nice. Um, storage in the kitchen, fabulous. So I've got lots of drawer space. As you can see here, all your tools fit perfectly well. Full size toaster in this drawer. Um, under the sink has lots of storage space. I actually have a basket that I keep for supplies. Up at the top. So also has a lot of really nice under counter lighting when you're cooking. I've never had a problem with um, seeing things as I cook. I love the faucet. It's got the little adjustable pan with the sprayer. So really nice. 
really handy. And that's a 65 pound pump on there too. Lots of water pressure. It's really, really nice. More storage in here. Um, this has a convection microwave, so it's just amazing in the fact that not only does it microwave, but you can also bake things too. So I've made all kinds of things like breads and cinnamon rolls because it's a convection bake um, combination. Really, really roomy. Some of the microwaves we've seen are really tiny. This one has a lot of room. I could actually put a full-size casserole. It's clean too. In the oven. It is clean. <laughs> Um, lots of counter space. As you can see, we have two coffee makers here for a side plug. So we also have a three burner cooktop, which um, is plenty as far as making a, an entire meal. You can three, put three pots on at the same time. And the BTU is really um, very well regulated as far as cooking. And I'm a chef, so that's important to me. These go back on top so you have more prep space. Um, again, some more storage area for your supplies, your more drawers. Um, underneath the cooktop you've got drawers for your pots and pans and just really really I have not run out of the space it's been really handy Go. okay so lots of storage space in this kitchen um, also above the table there's plenty of storage space here cabinets over the table all the way down over the sofa so I use it for my pantry keep a lot of canned goods in there um, also on either side of this table there's a storage unit here with two shelves that we keep miscellaneous things. Again, our nice shades come down all through the coach. So really love those. Um, on this side, because we both um, occasionally work from home, we actually have this area set up a little bit like our desk area with different office supplies. Keep that really handy. So lots of storage here. As we go back toward the back of the coach, I'll give you a tour of this fascinating shower, which is the absolute best shower I've had, even better than home, honestly. So, I hate to say that, but it's true. Um, we actually installed a brand new shower system, and I'll see if we can hook in here and give you a look at it real quick. Wonderful, wonderful shower head, lots of water pressure. So, really, really great setup. Nice size shower. We've really enjoyed this. I don't know if we'll find a better shower than that, but <laughs> Good setup. we've really enjoyed it. Lots of Here pressure. we've got the little separate great heater. bathroom area, which also has a lot of great storage. We've got our MCO shades here, which will close since it's getting close to nighttime. Lots of storage area over the sink. Keep my towels and washcloths and bath items there, and then over the toilet. We have our little baskets that keep all of our little toiletries organized. So, um, we also replaced part of the toilet area. So, you want to elaborate on that a little bit? Well, there you see. <laughs> it's it's self-explanatory. It has a bowl full of water and toilets that have bad seals don't hold water. Exactly. That's been sitting there for maybe two weeks. And so, um, we're in good shape. Yeah, the toilet good. seal we replaced and uh, all good. Works really well. So lighting in here is really good. As we come back toward the back, we've got our wonderful king-size bed area. This is the cozy retreat in the RV. So hard to find, but we have a full king-size bed in here. Uh, actually, in this closet, we have a washer-dryer combination. Uh, really nice unit. Um, this is also big. an excellent mattress. <laughs> Very good quality. Full quality mattress, yeah, not, very a, comfortable. not a foam rubber mattress, it's the real deal. Storage above the washer and dryer, all along the top, um, TV in the rear, you've also got... Got your uh, tuner for your um, dish network and connections for the OTA antenna up front. You have your own vanity here in the bat in the bedroom. Yes, kind of nice. Which I love because somebody can brush their teeth while someone else is in the shower. Um, yeah. Also, we have two privacy partitions, so this comes out blocked while you're traveling, but it partitions off for privacy, or if you just want quiet. Perfect. Those are solid wood doors, by the way, guys. This is all the the craftsmanship on American Coach. It's all solid wood. There's no particle board or you know. Wafer board. And here we have our cedar wood closet, which is really nice and spacious. 
We put a motion sensing light in there, but there's also a full uh, fluorescent light. Mm -hmm. So two sides of the closet, and also have this area here, which has some extra shelving for shoes. I kind of keep my winter shoes, boots in here. Shoes. <laughs> lots of shoes, lots of area for, and space for shoes. Um, with this little area here, you can put some extra blankets, and then shelving on top More for shoes. extra shelving. <laughs> More shoes. <laughs> And then, of course, all of your space overhead, which is really nice Huge. for extra clothing. Yeah, it's great. We've never actually run out of space here. We've, you know, been gone for weeks at a time, and it always seems to hold all of our stuff comfortably. But actually, the best night's sleep ever is in this bed. <laughs> By the way, there's a couple of neat features. If your front door light is on, there's a, a note for you, a little warning light over there that says, hey, your front door light is on. And if your generator's running, there's a generator cutoff switch there. And you've got your little side control, so you can get in bed if you forgot to turn out the lights up front, or you just want to turn off the lights in your bedroom. There's a little side panel control for that. Yep. Yeah, really. There you go. Handy. So yeah, we've really enjoyed this kind of approach a lot. So there you have it. It's an overview, and these were some of the questions that we were asked when we had the the ad out and we thought it would be better just to take you on a tour and let you know everything that we love about this amazing coach and where is the coach located and what is the price so we have the coach located in plano texas so it's right outside of dallas and we've listed it for 108 which is to me i can't believe you can get a machine like this for that kind of a price it's just a fabulous coach i'm gonna really miss her but I know someone else will enjoy her just as much as we have. And the only reason we're selling is we're going to upgrade to a 43 and a bath and a half with a tag. So we're going up one level. So no reason to come out of this coast except moving up and uh, looking towards retirement where we might have some longer trips. Um, yep, so this one has 69,000 miles on it. It's hardly broken in for a Cummins 400 diesel and it is a pre-DEF engine and so you'll find that these are very low maintenance and they are low cost for repairs. So you don't have all those DEF problems that people are having. Well, anything else we need to know? Well, I just hope whoever gets this loves it as much as we have and uh, if we can answer any other questions for you, please reach out to us. I believe our email is in the ad and also a phone number. You're welcome to call us and we'll answer any questions you might have. So until then, Bye.